Hi, this is News Now and I'm your host, Frederic Rigudo. Vaccination for first responders, the third priority group within phase one of the Commonwealth vaccine distribution timeline, has begun in Arlington last Tuesday. Arlington is acting as a lead custodian of the vaccine with Lexington, Belmont and Watertown to administer it to first responders in those four municipalities. Here a report thanks to Joan Roman, Public Information Officer of the Town of Arlington, edited by Belmont Media Center. So here in Arlington, we're doing a first responder clinic uh, for um, the towns of Arlington, Belmont, Watertown, and Lexington. Those are the communities that we have historically partnered with for emergency planning purposes. Um, we'll be vaccinating over uh, about 600 uh, of, of the first responders in our communities, as well as primary care physicians and staff within those, those offices, nurses and whatnot, as well as school nurses that are doing um, vaccinations and or COVID testing within their school population. So, so we're really looking to uh, vaccinate as many in our communities as possible. Uh, we're, we're eager to, to get this vaccine into people. Um, we're doing 600 Moderna vaccines. That's what, was been, uh, what has been shipped to Arlington from the state. Um, and as I mentioned, we've partnered with other communities. And so we've got staff from all of the other communities here with us today, um, making sure that the vaccine is rolled out safely and efficiently. Um, and, and this is our first one. So we just wanted to see how um, you know, our plans that we've had uh, been practicing through our flu clinics over the course of the, the past decade or so, um, just making sure that those, those plans are put in place here. And uh, here we are. Are you feeling sick today? No. All right. Have you ever been diagnosed with COVID-19? No. Uh, have you ever been treated for COVID-19? No. Have you ever gotten another COVID-19 vaccine? No. Was your flu shot more than 14 days ago? So it's a little different than flu because we're doing COVID vaccinations where um, we have to space people out, everybody has to be socially distanced, we're wearing full PPE, so it's a little different than our typical flu. So again, we, just were, we were using this as a, a smaller site to just make sure we have our plans um, solid and, and in place. I'm getting the vaccine because I want to keep those around me healthy and I want to limit the spread of COVID and the sooner we can do that, the sooner we can all get back to, uh, to normal life. For those not considering getting the vaccine, I would talk to your primary care physician. I uh, ask them questions. The CDC also has a lot of information on the vaccine. And uh, I hope that everybody considers getting the vaccine. So the more relaxed your arm is, the less it'll hurt. Okay. All right. So tomorrow you may have some uh, tenderness in the arm, and that's because okay. I'm stabbing you with a needle. Understood. Um, and you may have cold and flu symptoms and that's the vaccine teaching your immune system. Okay. It's you know pretty impressive setup at, in the gym at Arlington High School here uh, with the registration, uh, the throughput, uh, giving the vaccine and then observing people for a short time after to be sure that they're feeling well and have no reaction to the vaccine. We have a crew as well from Arlington uh, Fire that is here just in case anyone did have a reaction, which is extremely rare, uh, that we can obviously appropriately treat them and uh and take the next steps so i think this is a, a you know a great day for the communities uh and a great day for the first responders and getting them the protection they need uh to continue to work through this pandemic